it's an interview from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be talking about how to hold your crochet hook. This might seem a bit strange to be doing this video now that I've kind of done a load of videos but I recently did a workshop and I think what I gained mostly from that workshop is that people do really struggle with holding the crochet hook and I you know I understand that is exactly the problem I had for so many years I really did struggle with it and that's fine you know you all have to find your own way of holding the crochet hook and nobody can tell you exactly how to, how to hold it for yourself but what I was able to kind of narrow down is a, a, a concept um, as it were so this video might not help you it, you know you may find what I'm going to show you sort of totally difficult to do and that doesn't work for you at all because I saw people using a sort of like a knitting method for crochet. I've seen people sort of doing a knitting method where they sort of wrap it round and then put it through and that's absolutely fine and you might use your hold the crochet hook like this and that's absolutely fine. I don't, I hold it like this and that's also absolutely fine. <laughs> you know, uh, it's really one of those things that when it works for you, go with it you can't do it wrong okay the only way you can do it wrong is if you're not actually ending up with any crochet <laughs> that's the wrong way okay the wrong way is also if you're hurting your hands whilst you're holding it that's the wrong way as well if that's happening then try a different method try this sort of paintbrush method I think they call it versus this pencil method what I wanted to kind of convey in this sort of short video because I don't want it to go on to too long because it could go on forever. I want you to look at what I'm doing. I'm holding the hook with one hand and I'm holding the yarn with the other hand. I'm not swapping between them. I'm concentrating on having the yarn only in this hand and the hook only in this hand. So this hand is my dominant hand and this hand is my non-dominant hand. I am letting the hook do all the work here and I'm just holding the yarn still in the other hand. I also am holding the yarn around my fingers to hold the tension. I wrap the yarn around my little finger and then I bring it up and I hold the yarn out with my pointy finger so that I just grab the yarn and put it through. I'm using these two digits, my thumb and my middle finger, is that my middle finger? Yep. <laughs> to hold on to my work. I'm holding on to the work and if I just grab the work like that I'm not touching my crochet hook I'm just holding the yarn. Doing this allows me to keep my tension of my work but I'm not restricting the hook in any way see the hook can move really freely so I'm holding it looks like I'm holding the hook but I'm not I'm just holding the yarn. Now I hope these sort of things help you try and get your head around the way that you need to use the crochet hook and yarn. I find that if you let the yarn just sit still and do, let the hook do the work, then you'll find your, you'll get a nice even tension and a nice formation to your stitches. Okay, right. Now I'm going to do something that I've never done before. Well, I've been not on, not on camera anyway. <laughs> At this workshop, it became apparent that there are obviously there are left-handed people out there, and I'm, that's not a new thing to me. Don't get me wrong; that's not new. I know, I know that, but I'm right-handed, and I can't crochet left-handed until now. I think I may have been able to establish a method for me in order to crochet left-handed. Now, I'm not going to go into it on this video, but, but you can clearly see I have a completely different style to crocheting whilst I'm using my left hand and when I mean left handed is I'm holding the hook in my dominant hand which was now my left hand which is normally my non-dominant hand and I'm holding the yarn in my um, non-dominant hand now <laughs> which is my right hand but I'm still trying to maintain a method of only keeping the yarn in one hand and the hook in the other. Now I'm still practicing this and I have definitely not got any kind of skill going on apart from I did make a flower so I was quite pleased with that but I'm still trying to maintain that principle of keeping the yarn and hook separate 
but in this case the hook is doing a bit more work and the yarn is sort of contributing but this is mainly because this isn't natural to me I think so not necessarily an answers video this one it's just a please don't be afraid to try different ways of holding the hook and the yarn because you will get it you will find your groove your rhythm your motion it will come to you and you know for someone who is not a, a left-handed person I don't think that's too bad <laughs> when I say I'm not a left-handed person this hand is completely useless to me it does nothing useful okay I can't rely on it to be sort of coordinating with what my brain's telling me apart from I seem to have like done this but I'm just trying to show you that there really isn't a set way of holding the crochet and hook, uh, the yarn and hook. It has to be your own way. And if it takes you sort of playing around with different styles, do it. You will find what is coming, you know, what will come naturally to you. And if that is a struggle to find what comes naturally to you, I can only recommend that you get a ball of yarn, get a crochet hook, and make a chain out of that ball of yarn. Just keep going keep practicing keep trying until you're able to do a chain without looking so imagine you're watching your favorite film and you're now doing this without looking at what you're doing if you can do that then you've then mastered how to hold the yarn and the hook and then you really there is nothing stopping you after that I promise you <laughs> I really believe that because that's how it worked for me so that's all I have to say really in this little video it's really kind of it was just I would like you to just imagine that this is me sitting down with you having a coffee or tea and we're having a little chat about crochet and I'm sitting there helping you hopefully so nothing really kind of revelation wise but just kind of like a little pep talk if you find you're struggling please don't give it up um, please keep trying you know nothing's nothing is completely impossible and try and relax there you go there's another top tip just try and relax don't take it too seriously you know it's just a piece of yarn and a hook and if you're that determined to learn then you will but don't rush it things take time and everything happens at the right time so I hope this helps somebody please let me know if you need if there's any other ideas that you want help with and um yeah it's just me giving you a little pep talk yeah you can do it you definitely can do it and keep going keep trying and I promise you you'll be making all sorts of things before you know it and uh yeah so please uh hit that subscribe button to see some more projects coming up if you liked this video and it was helpful give me a thumbs up and uh, share it with somebody who think you might might be struggling with crochet give them a little boost and uh, yeah all right I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching take care bye from girly bunches and in this week's video i'm going to have a little bit of a different type of video i'm going to sort of chat through a very common question that i'm asked and the question is